Greetings everyone. So today I'm taking a break from the roof work because our windows are finally getting delivered. Um, I enlisted the help of Gary, Mark, and Mike to help me put in the windows. So they're gonna be here shortly and uh, we'll get started with flashing the window sills and I decided to go with the zip tape method using the stretch tape on the bottom of the windows and the regular flashing tape around the rest of the window. So we'll show you how that goes. So one of the things that I should have done when I was framing the walls is I should have clipped all of these triple studs here or trimmers, I guess, at an angle so these sills would slope to the outside. So what we're doing now is we're going back in and we're putting shims between the, the bottom sill and the top sill. And that way I have a, a positive slope going towards the outside. So here is what the final product looks like on the windows. So we used the zip flex tape to make bottom pans. So we went across and six inches up each side. And then I used the regular uh, zip tape, seam tape to go up each side and then across the top with the corresponding laps. And then what we did next before putting in the window is we cocked up each side and across the top. And now we're just uh, leveling everything out and we got a laser going because um, we're trying to get all three of these windows at the same height so all the trim will match up nicely underneath. So Gary, Mark, and Mike were able to help me get Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven windows in, in just the last couple hours of the day. The windows didn't get delivered until uh, about 12.30. And then we had to help the crew unload them. And then we actually took lunch. So it was probably in two hours, I guess we, got those windows in so we're gonna get back at it on Monday because today is Friday the 13th at the end of day one we had finished up here which is the window in the laundry for the in-law unit and then day two we picked up and we did the bedroom on the in-law The other bedroom window on the in-law. Uh, two windows on the seating area for the dining on the in-law. The other two matching on the next wall. That's over the kitchen window in the in-law. This is the second bedroom for the in-law unit. And then the main bath and this window actually the inner pane was cracked so they're gonna have to come out and change that and then uh, I'll show you move over to the other side here and show you where we finished up after day two so this was day two the three windows for the di main dining area window for the master, the patio slider for the master, another window in the master, that's the big master bath window over the bathtub, and then that is in the window in the shower area of the master bedroom or bathroom. 
Then we have the three fixed windows in the garage, the upstairs sliders for the bonus room, and I'll go around the corner and show you the other slider for the bonus room above the garage. And that's where we finished up on day two. Moving on to day three. So day three started with the triangle windows over the outdoor living area on the main house. And then we started in on this big 15 foot window. So these, that's a fixed panel and the other far side's a fixed panel. And then the two in the middle slide and open up. So we got a little more work to do on that. Um, this we had to frame in a little bit. Originally, I had designed this for French doors, but we had a problem getting French doors and side lights big enough for this opening. And so we went to the double sliders instead. So a little more work on this. Uh, we have to finish the hardware in the middle and there's another uh, astragal piece that fits on one of those moving panels in the middle so when they come together it seals up. So we'll move on to day four. <laughs> 